Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome back to a blind let's play of Mass Effect 3. Here we have Joshua Cody Shepard. His scruff is looking a little weird right now. It looks a little, the, the, the five o'clock shadow is a little uh, sketch. Anyways, uh, I have something sketch to let you know about. I uh, lost one hour of footage. So I did quite a bit of things to be honest. And now it's all kind of rattled because I spent longer trying to figure out what I was going to do than, than you know, just playing this whole thing over again, which uh, it was a lot of stuff. I mean, I can go to the Siddle right now. There was some stuff I can. I did learn the um, the Spectre Terminal had a, a dog tags, I think, or something uh, that I could return to the Diplomat. Uh, that was a surprise because I thought I lost that thing behind or I had to go back and get it. Um, I'm trying to think if I did anything that then warranted me coming back to this. You know what? Let me just do things in order. Hopefully the things will trigger in the same way and I'll talk my way through it as I go. I, I did take an hour to do. It was an hour of video. And I, uh, oh, and I needed to get the uh, coils or something. Here, just go to comments. Hey, so It'll one good thing is I'm going to cut a lot of wandering around and, and just meand the meandering parts are going to be mostly gone. Um, but then there's the stuff that, I mean, I'm not going to know the kind of things I said and whatever, right? So, uh, fish though. So let's do the fish. So that's important. Let's close the door. And I think this one's the one that has the thing of a jig, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> not the aquarium. Okay. So I think that's it. Let me back. Okay, so there's nothing else on this floor as far. I didn't go back to the yard, but I think that was going to repeat anyways. I checked the stores down there. There was nothing there either. Um, so next was the um, Spectre Terminal. I mean, I'm sorry that I have to do this. Part of me, like, why it took so long for me to come back and even, like, decide what to do is I'm like, I. It was so much, and and I did the one mission, the Cerberus mission, and I did so good. You you don't understand. It was the best I've ever done, and it was so heartbreaking when I when I looked at my footage. And so what happened is my my media drive ran out of space, and it stopped recording. It stopped saving stuff. So anyways, there's the. Bilal Osaba, you know, I should probably at least read it to be thorough. So Lion Soldier Bilal Osaba, the son of Ambassador Dominic Osaba, is missing in action on Benning and presumed dead. So civilians engaged in black market trades with occupying Cerberus troops have been able to procure the dog tags of fallen Alliance soldiers and obtaining proof of Bilal's death would ease his father's mind. To maintain deniability of black market trafficking, the dog tags should be presented as though the specter personally retrieved them from the lal about as well so the comment i made there is that my memory is there was one room where there was there was definitely a dead body in a cot or something and that's the only body i remember i don't remember a body elsewhere uh, i certainly didn't i've obviously I didn't find the dog tags wherever they were so uh, i'm not gonna buy any weapons Okay, we're out of here let's go talk to Bilal. so yeah it's my my drive ran out it stopped the recording uh, I try. I spent two hours trying to repair it with uh, tools out there, like script out there and whatever. But um, no go, no bueno. So unfortunately, and planet reading too. Yes. Ugh. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in yes. the slums on Benny. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I what a liar! See, their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. Ah, oh, the I, kids at the bar. I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. I mean, they could have just come and told the dude, the father, man. Instead of letting the guy, like, worry and crap. So let's go quickly. I don't think this will work. This is the problem. This is the sad part of this. Hold on. My brain just went dead. Purgatory bar. Is that I think when you reload, the game remembers when you've already heard things, and so it just moves things along. And yeah, so I don't think these guys are going to say what I want them to. No, maybe these ones will, but the one, the the, the chicken here with the dude. Everyone have a drink? Yeah. I think they. Boys, Bilal Osoba. Only on account of him do I still draw breath. Bilal Osoba. One brave son of a bitch. Here, here. 
Okay, so they're gonna go drink for a while. And this was Wait, seems... is this because you all secretly want to mail me? Okay, well, good. Secretly, it's repeating. For Richards. He wrote poetry. No, nobody I like how this ends. I think poetry. it's the end. Well, it didn't rhyme, but I think it was a prose poem. Or else he was hammered and messed up his punctuation. No, listen, it's not like that. So am I one of the guys or not? Mel, you are totally one of the guys. So buy me a damn drink, dumbass, and let's bring some dancers. Lucky ones. All right, deal. Later on, we're gonna kick Richard's ass. Damn, I love Shorty. That's it. That's it. Uh, did I go up there and do anything? I probably went to drink because, of course, Jane, nothing. I don't think there's anything else here. So I th think that's it. Here, let's check the journal. We have this thermal pipe here, uh, which we picked up. So we got to take this back to Adams. Uh, Barlavon. Oh, I didn't go to the planets yet. <laughs> okay, so. Spoiler, no, no, no spoiler, right? come on, man, everyone was watching. So there's, I did the planet scans in the Krogan sector, and, oh, that's why I, I, I was considering going to the planets first, so I could do all of this at the same time. Uh, I think we're done here, though. I'm fairly certain. I want to try to move this along, because, I mean, if I've already done it, it the, the raw reactions are definitely gone. You're not going to get any of those, unfortunately. So let's just uh, try to get something new in while we're at it you know what I'm saying so from here we have a ship full of fuel now he's missing I was curious about that and of course you talked to her Commander. that GX-12 thermal pipe arrived we're performing the modifications right now so how did I get volunteered to crawl through <laughs> this one's pretty funny you're the power control engineer not me damn hot in here hey didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is Edie Kenneth stop right there just in a tell joker. He'll get jealous. You can extrapolate all that. It gets funny in your head. We're still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. Alright, and then I went looking for him in the bait in the in the doxy in the area down here. He's not around. I think you just come back. I came back at some point and it, it panned out. Let's go to the Krogan DMZ. Cause now it's late. I, I was so pissed. I, I just I had to put everything down. A dude asked me to go out for beer and wings, and I was gone. I needed to leave. I was so f I was so ragey. So I could have just re-recorded it, but I was like, no, it was so good. You don't understand. It was so good. And it it's better when it's raw because I mean the joy was real. You would have seen some real joy with this next mission. Okay, I'm gonna read these through just for my own archival purposes. It's like if I have to go back and check something, I can just go back to a video instead of coming back to a planet rereading stuff. So, because I don't look for things online. So here we go. We have Ruan, the smaller of Arlax hydrogen helium gas giants maintains a small helium through recovery infrastructure. Although the depth of Ruam's gravity well makes it inefficient to export, visitors to the Arlac system often top off their fuel tanks at Ruam station. Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission maintains a token garrison to monitor any potential sale of fuel to known subversives and terrorists. Krubin is tightly locked Venusian hothouse, its surface perpetually obscured by clouds of sulfur and carbon dioxide. The first group of Krogan brought into orbit by the Salarian uplift teams requested a trip to Krubin. The Salarians at first thought the Krogan were confused about the nature of Krubin's environment. The planet is named for a Krogan mythological paradise in which honorable warriors feast on the internal organs of their enemies. In fact, Krogan astronomers had correctly deduced the nature of Krubin in the years before the global holocaust in the two millennia since krubin has become has come to be thought of as an ideal test of one's toughness every year a few krogan attempt to land on krubin and exit their ships naked in an attempt to prove their kroganhood the planet's surface is littered with the crushed corroded remains of their ships <laughs> one only one shath norda is known to have returned from the surface alive albeit with most of his bones crushed and all four of his lungs damaged by sulfuric gas Norda recovered from his trials to the adulation of his people. Until he died in 1943, he could lie with any fertile female he wished. <laughs> I remember that one. I remember all, all of these, actually. Darak is a small, heat-blasted rock lost in the blinding glare of the star Arlak. 
It occasionally traps a trace atmosphere of gases blown in on Arlac's powerful solar winds, which inevitably blows the gases back out again. The planetoid has a few vulnerable loads of heavy metals, which were sporadically mined by the Krogan at the height of their power. In the closing years of the rebellions, the five clans working the planetoid fell to fighting over a particularly rich deposit of iridium. All five clan warlords agreed to a crush, a meeting at a neutral location to negotiate a truce. Unfortunately, all five arrived planning to betray their fellows. While the leaders and their seconds met, uh, all the bases were destroyed by simultaneous hypervelocity cannon strikes. Left with only the food, water, and air in their hard suits, and with no way to call for rescue, the warlords apparently fought each other to the death. The survivors of the five Derak clans on Tuchanka still argue about which clan's warlords was the last one standing. They'll never know. They'll never know. Cannon. One of Cannon's hemispheres contains an impact crater 700 kilometers in diameter, dubbed the Renkat Basin. It was mined for light metals in the interbellum between the Rachni War and Krogan Rebellions. Any obvious resource concentrations have long since been stripped. Fall is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an ancient Krogan deity that stood watch for enemies of his pantheon. The gas giant's moons are named after some of all's myriad eyes and ears. The only reason to visit the Vol system is scientific curiosity, which the Krogan lack. And before we go to the last planet, let's go to Nith. Man, I had trouble to find this uh, this resource. Like a lot of trouble. I had to come back here. It was so bad. And I already forget where it is. Awesome. Can't wait to do that all over again. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, so there's three planets on this side. So we have Vard. Vard is a methane ammonia ice giant. Until the Krogan rebellions, it had a sizable helium-3 fuel refining infrastructure. Once the solar arrays orbiting Nith were destroyed, the constant flow of anti-proton tankers visiting the system disappeared. There was little point to maintaining the facility, so they were shut down and abandoned. Today, the ancient stations are squatted by transients, criminals, and outcasts. Although few are safe from habitation, Neither the Krogan nor the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission patrols care if they take their chances. We have Tula. Tula's methane ammonia atmosphere traps the blistering heat of Nith, driving dayside temperatures up over 1000 degrees. While some loads of useful metals are present, the planet's incredible heat makes mining impractical. Mantoon, the Class B blue giant Nith, was once the most strategically valuable system within Krogan territory. Though far too hot for habitable planets, Nith emits thousands of times the energy of a main sequence star like Earth's Sol. With help from Solarian uplift teams, the Krogan constructed a chain of solar power collector stations in orbit around Nith. These vast arrays beamed power to particle accelerators on the surface of Manton which manufactured anti-proton fuel for warship thrusters. In the Krogan Rebellions, the Spectre agents managed to get a virus into the computers of the solar power arrays. Every fifth array suddenly applied braking thrusters. The arrays behind them piled up and all were reduced to wreckage. This has since dispersed into a relatively stable ring system. The Krogan never had the resources to rebuild the solar arrays, depriving them of their fleet's main fuel supply for the remainder of the war. The particle accelerators still exist on Manton, but have not been used in thousands of years. All right, now here goes. Great. Great, yeah, I forget. I totally forget then. Let's try here. Man, is it the size of the system is what made this took forever. I like I had tons of chances here. Where are these things at? Signal confirmed. There it is. Boo! Jeez. Oh my god, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Okay, let's get the DVC. Faster than okay, light okay. jump successful. Yeah. Alright. 100 percent Okay, now we have these two. We have door. Where's the window? Uh, Dora's conventional methane ammonia ice giant. It is the main fueling port in the Draenek cluster gateway system. Pildia Station, the headquarters for patrol ships of the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, lies at the trailing Lagrange point in, of Dor. The CDM logs all ships passing through the Krogan Demilitarized Zone and has the right to board and search them for contraband at any time and for any reason. There are no exceptions at points 
Over the last two centuries, diplomatic incidents have been caused when the patrol frigates boarded an Asari hospital ship, a Batarian diplomatic carrier, and privately owned human tramp freighters. These measures are provided for under the terms of the Krogan Armistice. While the Krogan were allowed to retain their government and personal weapons, any attempt to provide starship mounted weapons to the clans on Tuchanka is punishable by law. Nearly a millennia after the war ended, the official penalty for smuggling prescribed weapons is still death by spacing. Kelim. Kelim is a tectonically inert rock with the atmosphere of Krypton, Xenon, and Argon. There are a few valuable loads of light metals scattered across its surface, but these are difficult to find. Most were mined out in the years leading up to the Krogan Rebellions. We have Sazgoth. Sazgoth is a small ice dwarf with an eccentric orbit. During Peregrine, portions of its icy surface sublimate into a thin atmosphere of nitrogen and carbon dioxide, which quickly freeze again as it recedes into the outer reaches of the drainage system. We have Rothla. Once Rothla was a large ice dwarf with the statistics listed below, in the waning years of the Krogan rebellions it was shattered into fields of debris by what is assumed to have been the test of an exotic weapon system. In the wake of the event, the planetoid was reduced to a relatively contained field of thousands of tiny moonlets rotating around one another, colliding and ricocheting. The method used to destroy the planetoid has never been deduced. The Krogan clan who performed the experiment apparently all died in the event. Ships that have traveled to the edge of the event's light cone observed a moment of extreme gravitational lensing around Rothla immediately before its breakup, but no other clues. A popular extranet meme put forward by Asari author Delce Orthis Orthisa insists that the Turians are covering up the existence of a Krogan superbiotic breed that was genetically engineered within Rothla. The CDEM enforces quarantine around the Rothla field, citing cases of the amateur investigators whose ships came to grief in the debris field. I wonder if that ever gets talked about, like in, I don't know, comics or in a novel or something. I found something. All right, so there's, are you guys gonna chill for a bit? You are, let's take this gas. Almost full. Um, I want to say it's here. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the one with the biggest lore. There it be. So this is for Bar Lavon. So there's a Shadow Broker Wet Squad right there. So we can go back to the Citadel and turn that in. I need to go back and use for gas. So it's all good. And now let's go back over here. And let's see where my time's at. All right. Well, I might uh, have, I might be seven to ten minutes ahead of myself from my last run, so it's not that bad. So we have. I, I was also worried of clicking the planet because I, I was like, what is this? Like, how am I going to dodge the genophage? You know, this is pretty cool. I like that they give you the three spots you choose uh, where you're landing. So uh, I did the Cerberus attack here. So let's let's do it again. I reiterate, it was so good, guy. I did so good. Now watch me do atrociously. We're talking. I had like maneuvering was awesome. My pistol work was awesome. My uh, well, of course, Liara. The Liara combo made it made it super awesome. Liara Shepard combo. Uh, the the uh, the melee was awesome because things would like like go around a corner and things would be there and I fucking bash that one in and then another one would come around a corner and I was like no I turn around and I fucking bash that and I was getting so I was getting so amped up man okay so here's the thing uh, once again I didn't use all three guns I think the venom at this point um, I'm taking it off to reduce some of this weight look at that plus 52 now because I want to get some of my powers back faster. Um, uh, I'm gonna keep the particle. I don't need it for this mission, but I didn't use that at all. I mean, I could get this because that's the thing. I could just put them on per like that's the thing because I'm I kind of know what this mission is all about now. So I sort of well, I mean, I'd be I would be like, but I mean, I know that I don't need this. I know I don't need it, right? So I mean, I might as well just not use it, and then I'll put it back on when I don't know what the hell's going on, and I'm gonna get a plus 200 percent recharge. Because hell yeah, I think they're fine as if I'm just gonna check real quick Yeah, they're fine. Oh Right, 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 right. There is some uh, I Think I did I save it or I defense matrix this thing I think I saved it and then Liara I'm, I'm gonna max out the singularity here I believe I went with this one So it does damage now after it 
runs out, then it does, it inflicts 375 damage across five meters. That's pretty sweet. And then I went warp because I want to damage some fools, and we're good. And I think that's it. Confirm. Let's see how this goes. That may be seven minutes out. Services landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground to space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Ow. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Pack it out. Please don't screw up. Please don't act like a jackass. Please. Did so good. Come on. We could do this twice. Get on. And I did it in like 10 minutes, right. honestly. Let's it was crazy. Room for those Kill okay, in our that way. scared me. Right as you guys you, would probably have guessed. Okay. Uh, disruptor ammo because of the shields. I'm going to have to contend with. And they're fine. And then I think I just went straight ahead. Because... I take laughs. Um, I forget. I got I spook I got spooked. There, right there. <laughs> By head. Except I came from Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Let's we're just gonna go for it. Fuck you with that. Keep track of it. You ready for this? Where you at? Okay, we're going to go straight to the console here, I think. Are they in here? Where are they at? There you are. <laughs> Bye, kneecap. Okay, here we go. Rock and roll. Did I, did I literally miss that guy? I totally did. Are you dead? There you are now. Are we good? Let's go for it. Good. Peace. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Peace. And then we go to lay. And we go like Pa. And we go like this. And we go like this. And we go like this. Go like this. Go like this. Control room. You wanna go to the control room? Come join me in the control room. Shepard, just grab the ladder, Shepard. Where you at? This is this can go wrong though. Hold on, hold on, because I don't know which side they're coming from now. <laughs> Come on. Come to me. Here we go. We're gonna go in hard with this pow, and then you're gonna go in with some. Th here we go. Shields. So let's go. Shields. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're gonna get singularity, and y'all are gonna get a frag grenade. Peace. <laughs> Sorry. Edie. I had to get through. And then you're gonna get a singularity. Up. 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 Done. Okay, I think now. It's time to test this uh, I want to take some stuff. There was stuff I could take. I didn't take anything this time, though. <laughs> Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. That's right there. You know what? I'm just going to get this stuff now. So I forget. Because things are chill now until we tr trigger that thing. Let me just try to remind myself, like, where were things? Uh, there's just bullets everywhere, right? That's definitely not the way I did it, but it worked. I came in through this area. It's a crazy battle in here. Okay. Uh, did that side. Uh, this goes down as well. 
There we go. Grab this one. Oh, that's just ammo. Yeah, I guess it was nothing else, huh? All right, well, let's do round two. Okay, well, I thought I was going to do horrible. I don't know why I thought I'd do horrible. I mean, I know it where I know where what things are. There's, there's like three rounds of something that you got to do or something. So here, now we're going to click this. And then I just fucking gunned it. I just gunned it. Let's move. Which I'm not doing right now because she was in the way. Come on. I know they are. That's why we gotta get. Na 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 na. Shields. Uh, stasis. Bye. Okay, I clicked one too many times there, which is going to compromise me. No problem, I got out of it. I got out of it. I got out of it. Okay, we're out of... Here, let's just throw a frag grenade in here. Do it, do it. Throw... Throw a frag grenade. Throw, throw a frag and... Oh, don't. Don't do anything. That's fine. Let the, let the smoke clear. That's fine. Or not. Uh, sucky to waste the bullet there. Stay on this wall. Coyote. Nope, gotcha. Tagged ya. Here, take some of this right here. Uh, you there? You're gonna get one of these. And you guys are gonna get one of these. Come on. Come on. I gotta push forward. I gotta push forward. I'm gonna go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ow. And you might. You're gonna go. Bye bye. Nope. You're not dead yet. Not dead yet. How about now? This guy's gonna get me. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Peace. Peace. I'm gonna die. Where, where, oh god, they're behind us? Oh, we're gonna, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna hide here. So, hide, hide, I said. No, no, let's get rid of this thing. Uh, how are my shields? The max now, let's go. Now you fuck it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. Fuck you. Come on, come on. Come on. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Ah, dang it. Dang it. Fuck you with your stupidity. Oh, you fucking, you better hide. You better hide. Coyote's coming. You know what? I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Things like that. Things like that. Things like that. Scares like that. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Don't die. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to throw a warp into here. Uh, well. Ooh. Fuck your head. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's great. Oh, you're you're still alive. No, you're not. There we go. Rock and roll. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. Okay, now we're just gonna gun it. Gun it, gun it, gun it. See, because the faster you make it through the boards, I am. That's the way this works now. So sometimes you gotta like, you just gotta go nuts like this. Where am I? I gotta know where I'm hiding first because I was tagging something wrong there. Okay, so up, 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 up. 
Bye, head. Right. Right away. I hate to do this to you, but... Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Go, go, go. Throw it. What's happening? Too late. Yeah! Son of a bitch. Okay, we got, we're gonna have to do some singularities and stuff again here. That's fine. That's the only, that's the only flaw is that this power, <laughs> is that this power, it's, uh, it, it, I get one shot out of it, you know? Oh, this is bad. But I gotta reposition, I gotta get around this bastard. There we go. Fuck you coming down, I'll show you coming down. Damn it, I lost my opportunity. I lost my opportunity. Damn it. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. <laughs> shit, shit. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay, fine. You get him. Oh! Nay, sir. I say nay, sir. That's not how it works. Not anymore. And I'm still taking a chance here, but... Is that it? <laughs> I love this group. It's so good. It's so good. Cannon control restored. Oh, oh, Targeting there's a V. Hold on. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Oh, I didn't miss anything. Firing. Uh, it's probably for me to see something out there that I'm blocked or something. You did it. All right. Good work, everyone. Yeah, yeah, it was. This is literally when I pretty much started the mission. Shepard, with those Kroger great. cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Yeah. Okay, so... We got some money money some reputation we got some stuff here we got this alien so we got the wet squad as the new shadow broker the art sony has the loyalty of her predecessor's assassination squad a small but lethal team of soldiers called on for the rare occasion when information isn't enough to silence the target their methods vary with each mission from subtle poisoning to bombing entire buildings the wet squad is dedicated to whatever range of destruction the new broker requires dr tussoni has put them to work against the reapers and cerberus the krogan first division is a conglomeration of infantry and vehicles hastily organized into a single coalition force the chain of command is divided by clan the representatives from each serving as officers despite ancient differences fighting the reapers together is building a spirit of camaraderie among the division's warriors krogan from different clan are starting to swap equipment stories and even the occasional barrel of ryan call which i think is their super powerful alcohol I would have moved, I would assume so. That could kill someone else or something. Isn't that what I drank and then I, I got K? It just hit me. It hit me the first time. It hit me now. Then I, didn't I go unconscious with the Ryan call inside the bar? And then uh, I woke up in the bathroom or something like that. They tried to kill me. <laughs> I don't think there's anything here. Need something, Shepard? Yeah, I know. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Well, I had some more content, but I don't know where to find it. Oh, maybe. Oh, shoot. Was it, um, was there stuff in here that maybe I triggered and it doesn't show when you reload? It shows as already being uh, selected, so I don't, I don't know now. So sorry if I'm missing something, folks. Um, okay. Oh, I went from here. I went down, so I went back to the uh, engineering lab. Let's do that. Front lines. Why 
if they got us guarding the door anyway. He's gonna mm -hmm. break regs right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, you talked with Moreau? Electra's invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. Oh, I got uh, stalled Commander, in the cockpit. Chief Engineer from Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Commander. Again, so that was uh, that was repeated. That's not a that's not something that happens only once at the beginning or whatever. No, no, cockpit from hell. You do get stuck there. Uh, I want to check this again because I could swear this guy had lines for me. Maybe it was now that I got him. How do you see there it with is. only two eyes? Okay. Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. <laughs> Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. I insist that he allow it. me to throw him out the airlock. <laughs> Pro okay, Prothe. Ah, that was it. I'm fairly Commander. Yeah. Okay. And for for the effort that you know, I mean, it wasn't a huge effort. Would you go to the city? Is it yeah. true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? <laughs> also good. She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? Was there any moaning? In your dreams, Kenneth. Uh, if only my imagination was that good. Adams would like to speak to you. You should go see Adams, come on. I got it. Man, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Clap, 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 clap. So we have optimized ESO capacitors, and that brings us to a wrap, I think. This is uh, this catches us up, and I saved myself like 20 minutes of uh, footage and editing and wandering around in confusion. I'm going to go to the captain's quarters, of course, because to feed, 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 feed. So we are done here. Um, okay, well, if there was anything else, I sort of forget. But I feel like that was pretty thorough. And that takes us back to... Um, you know what? We have time, so I'm going to jump back. Do I... Pa I could just keep going from here, though. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm thinking maybe I go back to the Citadel real quick just to do the Bar Levon and get it over with. I mean, traveling doesn't really matter, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just maybe you spend your own time, but it doesn't matter in terms of the game, I hope. Excellent work. The Shadow Broker has authorized me to offer you a finder's fee for his guard's safety. And now that our business is concluded, I have to tend to some other engagements. Goodbye, Commander. And may I say, good luck. Right, ooh, look at that. There's a Welcome level of that, sound bitch. I could do another quick rant. Okay, here, let's do just the Liara one. After all, it's not like I'm you are the reason god damn it why do you gotta go in circles man fairly certain we're done here the matriarchs aren't gonna do anything to you especially in the middle of yeah. this damn war second line my reports don't show much activity that, from the asari military against the reapers come on you know how infiltration asari sabotage yeah, yeah, yeah. this guy right here i love this against dude, reaper the forces, color combo here that's dude you look awesome man that is a great outfit dude serious <laughs> uh, where am I going? I'm done here. I think I don't want to do a round. I don't think I need to. It was just a, a small assignment. There's not gonna be anything new in here. Come on, it's all repeating. Nah, let's get let's get back to the normally. Let's get back to the Tuchanka. I didn't really have that much gas to refill on either, but uh, it's done. I don't think I can do anything else though. Um, I'm gonna level next. Look, look at this again. <laughs> oh. Did they just reorganize themselves? Why do they do that? All right. Anyways, it looks like these two are left, man. So let's go squad. I got five points. I'm, I'm, com I think I am. Oh, cryo, right. I was going to switch it to cryo, right? Let's see what the cryo gives us. Increased ammo capacity. 
Oh, right. I didn't like that. Hmm. Right, so then I just went with frag. Ooh, the area does that do area? Increased damage to organics by 40. Wow, that's actually really good, too. Increased grenade capacity. Ooh, just more grenades. I would. Hmm. I mean, there's tons of organics in this game. Yeah, we're going to do that. That one was cool, too, but let's do that one. Okay, so that. Wow, that reputation is going high, man. I think I'm going to end this one here so I can cut around it decently and. Uh, we'll be back and I'll go back into Tuchanka. We're going to do the uh, Turian quest next. We might do both of them. It depends on the timing or we'll start the, the priority one in any case. You know what? Here, give me a sec. Let me check. I wrote this down. And of course, I disregarded it twice. The recommendation was Turians. The Turian mission unlocks another mission. Then to do the N7 Cerberus mission. Then to do Tuchanka. I hope that doesn't matter. I really hope it doesn't matter because I literally I just redid the entire thing. So I could have just But we're gonna do the Turians, it's gonna unlock a mission. We're gonna see if we can get that and then enter the priority mission and go from there. And then I'll probably feel uncomfortable because of stuff that's gonna go down. Some choice I'm gonna have to make, I'm certain of it, when it comes time get to the end of that priority mission it feels like the end of act one going into act two so i will catch you in the next episode don't forget to explore engage and inspire buddy peace